That car looks amazingly quick already while standing. It doesn't even have to run. It's, it's great. Wait, I would want to get out of the way of all these cameras. I can step wherever I want and I'm in the picture. So, Sven, FX, you're looking at your baby here. This must be really a great moment for you, I imagine. Yeah, um, a little bit speechless because I only saw it, uh, not even decorated, uh, at the end of last uh, end of this week. Yeah, and to see it standing here and driving tomorrow is a fantastic, of course. Um, uh, yeah, a fantastic car. I think again, they have done such a, such a great job in eight months, and to have it standing here, ready to go, is fantastic. And as we have the technical director from Volkswagen Motorsport with us, uh, of course, we have to talk with him about all the technical details, FX. Um, I think there are a lot of interesting details on that car. Perhaps you can talk us through the most important ones. Well, we already talked about the weight and the weight of Just the battery. Just step a little closer to your car. You don't have to... Uh, I don't want to disturb <laughs> the photographer. They're okay. all happy to take pictures, so... <laughs> I will be not, you know, as nice they, as they the They like car. you to be in the picture, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the most important details. Well, as we say, the battery was uh, the, the, the biggest challenge because... The energy density today of a battery is, is a known value and uh, we want it for sure to, to increase the energy density and, weigh, and reduce the weight. So that, uh, that was the main, uh, our main focus, to try to find uh, the lightest battery as possible with the most energy. Um, the aero for sure, I mean, uh, there is no rules in, in this race. The only rules are the safety rules. So uh, we work a lot on, the, on the aerodynamic. We were helped by our colleague from Porsche. To do this, you can see. I mean, there is some Porsche things. Inspiration. On this car. Inspiration. <laughs> so uh, we have. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the altitude. Uh, I mean, with the altitude, we are losing uh, some aero effect. So we had to do really big, big, uh, big wings. Uh, it's uh, it's why this the wings looks a bit uh, too big for the car. But it's uh, this is a uh, free free weight on the on the wheel. So that was a. Uh, a big effort for this. The fact that there are actually no rules for the technical side of the car, does it make things easier or more difficult? Well, I mean, it makes it uh, more difficult for the finance department because the only limit is the, is the budget. Then. <laughs> but uh, for an engineer, it's, it's, it's fantastic. You have no, uh, no restrictions. So uh, the aero people, they really uh, enjoy the, to work on this car because I they had the full freedom to do what they wanted and, uh, and just to make the best uh, aero efficiency as possible. Yeah, I don't know why you're so shy to, you always stay away from your car, but I think it's really, go, go to it because it's, it's really something you were working on and show us um, the, some We are still working on it, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> I imagine, I imagine. There is 65 days to the race, so we will work <laughs> in the next 55 days uh, flat out, for sure. That's an interesting topic. I mean, you had to work flat out constructing this car already, but uh, now we have April, May, June, just two months left until the start of the race. How is the testing schedule in this short time? Well, the next, the next two weeks, it's planned to test in Europe. Uh, and then for sure, I mean, to adapt the tires, to find the best... Uh, Best compromise in terms of battery. Again, I mean uh, engine, engine power, motor power. Sorry, I'm still in the petrol engine. Uh, in aero, I mean the tires also. So this these two weeks will be very busy uh, to test here in the south of France. Then we will fly the cars to to US. So uh, unfortunately, it will all be uh, again two weeks uh, to do this, and, and and then we start testing in uh, in Pikes Peak end of May. Okay. Until the race. Um. Looking at the aerodynamics again, because I think uh, this is really something that uh, strikes the eye when you're watching at this car. Um, I'm sure aerodynamics at that car for Pikes Peak works differently from uh, how aerodynamics for a normal race car on a normal racetrack works, right? Yeah, for sure. As I say, the, the, the altitude will, uh, will reduce. I mean, with altitude, the, the density of the air is going down, so... To get the same effort, same uh, load on the on the wheels, we need to, to go to bigger wings. So that's uh, that's the main thing. Like the cooling, like mentioned, uh, Sven, we are also losing efficiency. So that was the main, yeah, some of the main topics we have to to push for this car. How hard was it to find out um, these uh, differences without the experience uh, at that racetrack? Let's go to the front again, so the people in the live stream see well, us better. We did a lot of simulation. A lot of uh, tests in wind tunnel, but now we'll start the real life, and we'll see if we if we did our our homework properly because uh, simulation is one thing, but uh, 
real, real race is, is coming now. Okay, so Sven, come, come to us. I think uh, a fascinating car. I'm sure everybody is really curious and uh, looking forward to see it at Pikes Peak two months' time. Also lots of work for you, not only for the technicians re working right on the car, but uh, I think there's a lot of things to do still for everybody, but a lot of work done already in a very short time too. How proud are you of your team, Sven? Well, um, like I said um, already in the beginning, I'm just super, super proud. It's, uh, for me, unbelievable um, what has been done in, in eight months. Um, also, when you see what we have uh, prepared for charging the car at Pikes Peak and so on, I mean, the whole company, actually, from logistics to designers to, I mean, every department has been really 24 hours around the clock to get this ready and will be also, like I said, the next 65 days. So um, when that car goes up the hill uh, at the end of June, I will be very proud standing there, of course, with hopefully that result that we really want and to make that blank score away from 1987. I imagine. So today is done one very important step, but there are many more to do until uh, June and the start of the race. I say, uh, I say thank you to FX, thank you to Sven. It's now time, I think, for a nice photo shooting because uh, cameras were working all the time, but what you need is certainly a picture with those two gentlemen beside the car. You will get that now. Um, we found out that this is the best point. I will show it to you. So just come here. Where I stand now, this is the place for Sven Smits and FX de Maison. <laughs> now they're fighting for the places here. Okay, perfect. So, ladies and gentlemen, just take your photos. I hide away for a moment. And once these photos are done, I would say Florian Orbitsch also should be part of the photo. And Jockey Klein, please join the team too. Jockey Klein is here today. Um, he's the one actually who was uh, uh, driving that race we were talking about a minute ago. I will have to get out of the picture. How, how can I do to go to the other side of the car now? I have to sneak? No, I can't. <laughs> anyway, I, I'll tell from here, off voice now for a moment. Um, Jockey Klein was uh, driving the Golf in 1987, the race we were just talking about, and he will be available here for you too. And he brought also his or original car from then. So, a lot of stories to tell. Anyway, I have to sneak in for a short moment. Okay, I think this is a great photo and the best moment actually, could, could you hold that for a moment so I can go to my camera because this is actually the moment uh, I have to say goodbye to our spectators in the live stream because this is the end of the official part of that presentation. I hope everybody enjoyed it and I think these gentlemen deserve a little applause for the car and for being here, <laughs> telling us everything about it. Of course, for everybody here, there will be a chance to uh, do more photos and do more talks uh, to our spectators in the live stream. I have to say goodbye. It was great to have you with us. And don't forget to be back again in June for the race at Pikes Peak. So bye-bye to everybody on the live stream and thanks for joining. Okay. So.